Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Kenzo. We're going to be talking about Kenzo today because I recently just bought something from Kenzo. I'm currently wearing it right now. You can see the top part of it. Spoilers, it is a sweatshirt, but we'll get into that in a minute. I want to say that I really like Kenzo as a brand. I like some of the designs that have come out. A lot of people might know them for their tiger print, their t different uses of tigers within their within their clothing. But, you know, they do have some other interesting pieces as well. And one of their most recent motifs is the poppy. And the thing is that Kenzo recently got, not recently, but a few years ago, got a new artistic director that a few of you guys might know or might not know. His name is Nigo. He had done a bathing ape, and we get we can get into that all in a few. But before that, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Josh. I usually do fashion videos centering around men's fashion. I also do history of fashion videos, and I'm going to be doing more or different types of content in the future. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, consider subscribing. I think it's, it'll be a lot of fun. So. Yeah, if you like things like that, consider subscribing. So yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking about Kenzo. It's Kenzo Paris. This is the tag that came with the sweatshirt that I bought. You can see here that it has a little poppy. Let me see if I can get that in focus for you guys. So it'll be a little hard, but it's a little poppy that it has on there. Very cool. I really like that packaging that they did there or the hang tag that they did there and I'm going to show you guys what I'm currently wearing it is a white sweatshirt with the name Kenzo on here very bland um, if you're just taking those two things but on the back I'm going to show you guys it has a giant poppy on here along with uh, Kenzo written on there so very cool uh, one of the things that I it, they didn't mention in this product description, but they had mentioned it in other product descriptions that the poppy is renowned throughout Japan. And the thing is that Kenzo has ties to Japan for moving to Paris. So just letting you guys know that, just giving you a little bit of background, the original, the original founder was Kenzo uh, Takata. And it, the new artistic director now is Nigos. They are under the LVMH brand or Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy brand. It is, um, Kenzo is one of the brands that I do really like the most because they produce one of my favorite sweatshirts, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But before that, I will say that overall, the sweater feels great, looks great. One of the things that one of the things that I don't like but might not affect other people's is the sizing. The sizing fits like a regular t-shirt, but I understand that it's a sweatshirt. It's not a sweater, but I wish it was just a little bit longer. I'm going to move to the back right here and I'm going to show you guys because it looks fine, but I'm just, I'm just a little critical on things like that where I'm like, I wish it was just a little longer. So the sleeves feel good. They fit right. And the length is good, not great, but it's good. But I would expect that if you're paying as much as, as I'm paying for this thing, I wish it was just a little longer, but that's that's just me. And one of the reasons I'm saying this is because I look at the, the model that they use. By the way, this was uh, on Saks Off Fit, so it's more of a discounted price that I did get this for because they usually do all of the discounted goods there. Just if you didn't know, now you know. Um, so you could get really good bargains, really good steals off of sites like that. And that's typically where I get some of these clothes too, because I'm not going to be paying full price for some designs um, that I think that I could get cheaper later on. But just my two cents about that. I don't know if you guys are paying full price or not, but I'm almost never paying full price for it, some of these goods here. With that all being said, I think that the sweater feels good, looks good. You can pair it with different things. On the Saks Off Fit the website, there is a view where you could see what it will look like with other with other garments. 
So there's what would you wear this with view and it just showcases different different clothing that you could wear it with. But honestly, I think it'll look good by itself. It's like a plain white sweater. It could go with anything. Giant poppy on the back. Pretty cool. But that being said, I do really like Kenzo. So I do have a couple of other sweatshirts from them. And I think that sweatshirts are a good in between between, I would say, winter and uh, summer. They're the perfect fall fall if you live in a warmer, a little bit of a warmer climate. So I have this one here. This is the Kenzo Paris one that I got a few years ago. It just says Kenzo Paris. It looks pretty nice. I typically wear this out, but this is not my favorite Kenzo sweatshirt that I do have because the one that I do have and the one that looks the most ridiculous because I like wearing somewhat ridiculous things is this one here. It is this tiger print Kenzo sweatshirt. You can look at and see. I've worn this in a different video before, which I think is pretty funny, but it says Kenzo Paris medium. And then it has um, Kenzo on the side, on the arms here, and it has Paris on the other side here. But my favorite thing about this sweater is just how this, this tiger looks. Look at his face. It just looks so, it looks so funny, but I love it. I love when I wear this one out and I've gotten a lot of compliments on this one. I think people just like it. And the thing is that it's not printed on there. It's like embroidered on there. So it's even better because it won't fade or anything like that. Unlike this one that I do have on right here, this is printed. So it has the potential to fade. As many of you know, if you throw it in the washer, uh, it can, and you put it in the dryer, it'll fade. But that's why this one does say either cold wash or hand hand wash cold, iron dry. A lot of these higher end higher end clothing, a, a lot of the times say iron dry or lime dry, or go and take it to the dry cleaner, things like that. But honestly, this I believe that. These sweatshirts are perfect for the fall, especially here in California, where you just need to wear something out when it's too cold in the morning, but it gets too hot in the afternoon. It's the perfect in between. I'm not putting on a sweater when it's still gonna be 80 degrees outside or in the high 70s. So just saying that I believe that it's the perfect sweater or sweatshirt. That all being said, some of the other things that I also wanna incorporate into this video is just a little bit more about myself as many of you might have not seen <laughs> because I because I, I think that it's I think that um, people typically just search some of these videos and just go through and see how it looks and then just go and say it's like okay this is perfect for me it's like this is how it's gonna look um, and then just me giving you guys my input I mentioned in another video that I wanted to give a little bit or tell a little bit more about myself and it just some of my opinions on on things or just in essentially talking points on 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 myself. So recently, since it is fall, I went to a pumpkin patch. I went through and started doing all the fall stuff because it hasn't been re really feeling like fall lately. And things like going through and things like going through and doing activities, fall activities, taking drinking like a like a pumpkin spice latte at a pumpkin patch really makes it feel like fall and once i start seeing people dress up more in winter wear or clothing in fall it makes me really appreciate the season a little bit more and going through and talking through things like this where i'm able to show you guys like sweatshirts and tell you guys it's that I'm excited that I'm able to wear these things it makes it really feel like that season. But that's just some thoughts that I did have. It's it's more to it's more at the tail end of this video. So if you stay this stay this long, I'd also want to know from you guys what's your favorite part of the fall season. I know for me it's typically the clothing and typically the activities that you do. Um, food wise, I have pumpkin pie, I have apple pie, there's really, really the fall, the fall 
foods for me are really comforting and I think that's also another reason why I really like the fall season. Besides the clothing, I really like all the clothing on there. But I might have rambled on a little too much, so if you stay this long and if you like the interesting videos like this or this type of content or whatever I'm saying, <laughs> consider subscribing. Um, but with that, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below.